Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and we have a, a lot of things to talk about today. One of those things being Sheldon Hawk. And actually, this may be the only thing to talk about today because, I mean, Late Models just put on a damn good show at Fairbury, and there's really nothing to complain about over in Late Mall land. But there is something to talk about with the sprint car racing scene. Now, for those who didn't see it, maybe you got a text like I did last night at a racetrack. Hey, what do you think of the Sheldon Hoddenschild helmet throw and uh, issue and fight with officials? I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? We'll go to the video for those who didn't see it. This is actually behind the scenes video uh, that was posted on Facebook on 357 World of Dirt. 357's World of Dirt. Now, we're going to zoom in here and you can kind of see what happened. On the track, you see Sheldon, the, the green flag is out. He is in the infield, pissed off, mad, walking towards the flag stand right there that you see. And he is, he's uh, obviously upset. Just took the helmet off, yelling at, and, and the fans are like, why'd you do this? And then Sheldon goes, wow, throws the helmet onto the speedway. And then, look what happens. The caution flag and people cheering they're cheering because apparently this car was closer to the racing surface than uh the world of outlaws would like to admit i kind of just like uh went and texted sheldon said you don't have to tell me what happened but i'm at least gonna ask i got together with a car coming out of four spun out on the front stretch and landed in turn one backwards and they never threw a yellow now apparently never throw on a yellow for the 17 NOS Energy Drink Machine in the NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Series event. That's got to be a problem. I mean, you see, you see Hoddenshout in the running order on the official replay, but then after that, it just flips over to David Gravel leading the race, and then uh, that's it. You know, we don't see where where Hoddenshout got contact, but if it was Larson or somebody like that, it would have been paid attention to immediately. Everybody would have known there would have been a caution thrown. There would have been a red carpet to the work area to fix whatever may be wrong. They would have had 20, 30 minutes to fix their car. You know, and it's unfortunate that something like this happened and we're, we're you know, not able to, you know, halfway pay attention. I will give a, a pretty big shout out to Polly Giovanni, Polly Giovanni, whatever it is, Broccoli or, or Lettuce, whatever his name is, the 10 car here. Polly, Polly Giovanni, I believe is how you say his name, always does, re does well against the World of Outlaws. Larry White also did a hell of a job. Uh, who's a hell of a race car driver, no matter what he gets into. Sprint car, midget, big block modified, where his forte is. You got this 01 Varen. I, I don't even know who the hell that is. He's obviously in the top 10 against the Outlaws. That's a, a really big deal. But at the end of the day... Hodenshield has just thrown his helmet onto the racetrack to bring out the caution, so there will be disciplinary action taken there. Disciplinary action taken there. Oh, my, oh, my. World of Outlaws, just like the disciplinary actions that were taken on the official that threw a, a, a pit crew member to the ground, disciplinary actions, what happened to those disciplinary actions? Oh, well, we just sweep that under the rug, that situation that occurred. Y'all sweep that under the rug. No one gets to know what, what happened with that guy. No one gets to hear you got to go talk to somebody behind the scenes to figure out about suspensions and a few weeks off and all this stuff. You don't publicize that. You try to sweep that under the rug. Well, you take an issue like Danny Dietrich and Freddie Raymer when it's not one of your boys, and you just publicize the hell out of that. You want everyone to know what happened, the throwing, the fighting, the wrecking. You want everyone else to be exposed, but not you. You don't want to be exposed. You want to implement disciplinary action. It is so funny, you know, even somebody like Sheldon, who most would assume are, is favored in, in the World Outlaw Sprint Car Series is not getting fair treatment compared to the cliques that are in the World of Outlaw Sprint Car and the Sprint Car Racing industry to begin with. The cliques, the real cliques. Not the people racing cliques, not the sponsorship cliques, but the buddy system. So when it's your authoritarian figure against the crew members, it's, it's, it's sweep under the rug. When it's Racers on the track, let's expose the circus while it's being played. And then when it's a, a NOS Energy Drink 17, a Sheldon Hottenschild, uh, being upset that you didn't throw a caution for a championship contender, we have to implement disciplinary action. I know that racers are seeing it. I know that people are seeing it. Uh, sponsors are seeing it. Those from the outside looking in are seeing the things that y'all are doing. And... Man, you know, World Outlaw Sprint Car Series, you're such a, a legendary organization. And 
the High Limit Sprint Car Series is coming. And I guarantee you that other organizations out there are seeing the rise of dirt racing and the popularity of sprint car racing. And if you don't start doing some things right and start acting a little bit more uh, fair, some unfair things might happen to you. And at the end of the day, I believe the world, hell, the universe, calls that karma. But this is how we ride. This is how we do.